So here I am. Crying. Because because yesterday I let my little boy down. Because my pain got in the way. It was something I could have. Well, had I done things differently, I could have done simply for him. But I just didn't realize how much pain it was going to cause. We were at the duck game. Got to go to the game. You know, I got to take my boys to their first college football game. If we didn't win, that didn't matter. We made it close. They had a great time. They loved the game. And they really wanted to get down and meet the mascot for the team. And, uh, well, he, we had gotten there. I thought we were going to be late. I was really worried my kids were going to miss part of the game or something. So I was really in a hurry to get there. I had some hip issues, some foot issues. It's been a decade since I've been to a game, and so I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal, but it, it turned out to be. But uh, I have. Uh, we walked up. As soon as we got in, I had no idea. I thought we were going to be late to the game. I didn't know how much pageantry ASU does before their game. So I really in a hurry to get up and get to our seats and find my cousin who was meeting us there. He'd flown in from Utah so we could go to the game together. And uh, so we get up there and, and we just go up the stairs. I let my pride get ahead of me and I I didn't go look for the elevators because again, I thought we were going to be late. I thought they were going to miss the kickoff. And uh, so we blasted up those stairs and we got to our seats and we got to where we could find up my cousin and get everybody situated and get our seats together because I want to get up there and the game isn't even close to starting. But again, I'm already in that frantic mood cousin is scanning the crowd looking for us and we're looking for him but the stairs really kicked my ass and I should have taken the fucking that elevator I should not I should have fucking swallowed my pride because I was in intense fucking pain for the whole game uh, I did everything I could to keep the pain from hurting too bad and I we enjoyed the game and everything but I just I, I, I took him, I went and took him to go to the bathroom. My boy, my boy Milo needed to go to the bathroom. We went and got food and what have you. And after that second trip up and down those stairs the second time and whatnot, I was just, it was excruciating where I was at. My feet were on fire. And now the crowd was, or, you know, and, and unfortunately, or actually that was later, but we got there, we got all seated, and the crowd, the place was pretty empty, and we could have got down to see the duck. So, like I said, let me backtrack. We could have got down and seen the duck, but I, I wanted to recoup for a second. And again, I thought the game was going to start shortly. So, so like, let me rest and do this. And got got into hanging out with my cousin and whatnot. The boys are hounding me to go down and see the duck. And I'm thinking we're going to win the game. And so I'm hoping that I can get this pain to subside. And at the end of the game, you know, after the Arizona fans have lost and they're leaving and the Ducks are still a little on the field, I might I could get the, down, the boys down close enough to, to see puddles and maybe touch puddles and reach down like, like you would do, like we did at the games in, at Austin Stadium. So I wasn't counting on losing and having the Duck now be nowhere near the field at the end of the game when I wasn't in as much pain and could have taken the kids down to see them. I wasn't counting on us losing. So we go through the whole game and they're asking me to take him down there to get a little closer to see if we can reach out to him. I keep putting him off thinking we're going to get to do it at the end of the game and we did win. And the duck was not down there for my boys to meet. I couldn't get him there. And, and I was like, uh, and I think my youngest Milo was, was still convinced that as we were walking out of the stadium that we might see him. You know, we might see the team bus or something along those lines. And again, you know, that wasn't the only focus as we were leaving. So, but as, as we finally get to the uh, train station outside of the stadium, and we're getting ready to ride, go back to the parking lot where our car is, 
that's when it dawns on my boy Milo that he's not going to get a chance to see the duck. He really wanted to hug the duck. That's all he wanted to do. That's all he talked about the whole game. Yes, by the second half of the game, this six-year-old was fully bought into football and fully understood the team aspect, even if he didn't totally get the game. The eight-year-old years, eight year old is rapping about it. The six-year-old, his real goal was to get down there and meet Puddles, and we're out there on the train platform when he finally dawns on him that we're leaving and he's not going to see Puddles. And he bursts into freaking tears. And I'm trying to figure out why in the moment he's telling me I really love puddles. I wanted to hug puddles. I get to hug puddles. And here I am on the same platform, surrounded by ASU fans. <laughs> My poor little boy crying that he didn't get to hug the mascot. <laughs> and the only reason he didn't get a chance is because I didn't get off my ass. Suck up the fucking bane and take him down there immediately upon getting to our seats when the opportunity was there. I let my pain tell me what to do instead. And I just feel horrible. <laughs> Gratefully, it's I still love the game, he's so happy we went today, but he's bummed. But I didn't get it done. <laughs>